Hey, hello there, and a very, very well welcome this Tuesday evening. My name's Sean Ryan, and as ever, we've got the Planet Cruise TV show. Do you know, tonight's a bit extra special, actually, because we normally have six cruises. We've actually got seven tonight, and we've actually got some really nice mini cruises, and for the first time ever, a mini river cruise as well. But um, here to tell us all about them, our fabulous Justin Hazel with his How nice evening. I'm great. Yeah, great to well, be back. Well, actually, no, I'm not. You know, I've had a really stressful day. Christmas can be quite stressful, can't it? It, it, it yeah. can be, and that's why you need a cruise. Exactly. Fact, oh, hang yes. on. You've already got your next cruise booked. I've got two. I've actually got two <laughs> in the diary. I'd say what though, uh, a really good point that we want to we want to stress tonight is. Look, it's Christmas. You know, lots of people are using that paycheck for you know all the niceties, the food and the drink stuff. But all of the cruises that we got tonight, apart from our first one, is all deposit only. Brilliant. So that, that's that's the great thing that you know if you want to book in advance and then you know set a goal towards next year or even 2019, then we've got some great stuff for you tonight. And we really have got something for absolutely everybody. Just before we start, we want to say um, hello to Lee from Azamara because Lee was going to be oh. on. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lee, Lee, we've got Lee. Ama- Lee. Yeah, well, yeah, he was supposed to be there because we've got an amazing deal with Azamara Cruises, which is one of, one of my absolute favourites. But is uh, bless him, he's broken his arm. And the first thing we all said was, how did he break his arm? Apparently he broke it vacuuming. Icy. It's icy, isn't it? No, no, he did it honestly vacuuming. So, uh, no, no. But anyway, um, Lee, get better soon. OK, but thank you for the amazing deal from Azamara. That is coming up because it is yeah, amazing. Actually, yeah, all, all joking aside, that, and you've been on it. You've oh, got an Azamara, uh, Azamazin even, sorry. And that is where you get to spend... Uh, well, four or five days in the south of France. We're talking Cannes, Monte Carlo, Provence, in some of the most well idyllic and some ports that we haven't featured ever. So that that one definitely stay tuned for that. Um, and we, look, I'm just looking here. We've got we've got a great one for Morella, haven't we? We've got something for everybody. Let's just crack on because I tell you what, the, the, <laughs> yeah. the first one that we've got is is a little bit of a last minute deal because it's coming up for you literally yeah. in January next year. Next year, it's just around the corner, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, it is. Actually, yeah, a few weeks. Um, now we actually featured this just just really quickly um, for about literally thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah. And it and it turned out to be a top seller. So we've actually bought it back tonight, and we'll spend a bit of time talking about it. But this one is flying, isn't it? Well, let's let's just say seven nights around the Canaries for seventy eight pounds. Sorry, seventy five pounds per person per night and the chance that if you want to double the length of your stay and actually have a land holiday as well, um, then we can do that as well. Uh, so Justin, you've forgotten two really important words. I right? know, I know, I know go what you're going to say. I, I saved it for you. All inclusive. Yes, there you go. <laughs> it is. Seriously, it's all inclusive. It's under £520. So let's just take you on board and talk you through. Um, so a really nice uh, traditional ship, Justin. Yeah, and the great thing about this is we're not talking about the larger ships. No. So if you want something small, you want something cosy, then we're talking 46,000 tonnes. Uh, and with this, you've still got all of the modern luxuries that you, you'd associate with the larger ships. Uh, and all of the uh, the facilities. So, you know, great food, great destinations, great locations. I said the Canaries as well is just going to be a great time of the year to go over there, get, to, get some really good winter sun. And the ship itself, you might actually recognise the ship if you just saw the image there. You may recognise the funnel. She's actually part of the celebrity fleet that's actually come across. So for those of you who are familiar with celebrity, then um, uh, you might actually like this particular ship. So. Uh, Really is fantastic. Wow. Really I think fantastic. it's great. I think it was great. I'm sorry. I mean, not really funny. Five hundred and ninety pounds. Well, you know, it's all inclusive, so that's all of your food, all your drinks, all your entertainment. And what did you say was that? Seventy five pounds. Seventy five pounds per person per night. Wow. Yeah, but you haven't seen where you're going as well. <laughs> well, I know, well, I know. We, we're going to the sun, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. And th- this is the great thing. You're flying. F- first actual port of call um, is Tenerife. You're flying out to Gran Canaria and then uh, uh, transfer into the port. And Tenerife, you know, it's, it's got that great feel to it. You know, you may have been on a family holiday before. Great to spend the day there. You've got some great, good, you know, really good beaches with good shopping as well. So it uh, depends if you want to sort of uh, splash out. Perhaps if you've got some Christmas money uh, or uh, perhaps uh, make use of the January sales. Um, there's plenty to see and do here. You can go to the Order Tower of Valley, you can go to Santa Cruz, uh, head to Loro Park as well if you want to do some uh, some water sports and uh, be a little bit more active. Uh, then the next day we're off to Grand Canaria. So this is La Palma. Um, fantastic destination. You've got golden dunes and again 
all year round. You've got this fantastic sunshine. Uh, you've got the Bandana Crater there as well, uh, and the Vegeta District as well, um, uh, to boot. Um, then we've got a nice relaxing day at sea, and I think this is, this is important to stress, that a, a nice day at sea can break things up. I think everybody does on their holiday, you know, you have a day out and then you have a day yeah. around the pool. I don't know, it's just me. That's right, I know, it's, <laughs> I, I, I love the days at sea, you know, because you, you do, you just sunbathe, you, you enjoy the, uh, the drinks that are all inclusive. Exactly, yeah. 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 exactly. Um, then we're actually pop popping across, this is a new one on me, we're popping across to Morocco, we're going to Agadir. Yeah, I've never been here. Do you know what, straight away, I've always wanted to go for Mor to Morocco for one reason. I want to go to a souk. I want to go to a market where there's a snake charmer. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's like a James Bond film, yeah. and you're having a little bit of a party. You come back with a, a carpet and some lampshade. You know, I, I, I just want to go and do it. But the great thing yeah. is, there, there's, there's two sides to this port. You can go and do that. There's the souks, the market, the Grand Bazaar. But you can also go to the beaches, and they are actually renowned as being some of the best beaches in the area. Um, one thing you can do here as well um, is you can go and visit a Casbah. Um, so uh, for, for those of you who want to do something a little bit historical, I just love to go because I just think of the song. But there we go, rock the Casbah. Anyway, um, but then we're off to Lanzarote. Now, Lanzarote is probably one of the most unusual landscapes that you've got. Around the coast, you've got these pretty little villages, and then you head out into the mountains, and it's just like a different world, quite literally. Uh, so, plenty to see and do. One thing I'd recommend here from, uh, not myself, but actually my best friend, uh, I take a very good recommendation in, the Caesar Manrique uh, Caves. Uh, that you've got there. There's a beautiful. Here, here oh, you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It really is beautiful. There's a restaurant at the bottom there, um, so you can go down and have quite an unusual day um, there. Then we're heading off to Fuerteventura. Now, Fuerteventura, there's a 10-kilometer-long beach. It's renowned for its water sports, particularly windsurfing. They have the Windsurfing World Championships here every year. There you go, on cue. Um, so, uh, I, you know, it's great, even if you don't like doing it, I just love seeing and thinking, is he going to go over? Is he going is is to be able to do it? Um, so, uh, yeah, go and, see, go and see that. And then, um, back to Canaria, and, uh, Grand Canaria, sorry, and that uh, wraps up your seven days. But if you want to, what you can do is you can extend this for another seven nights, um, and that's just £479 per person. Uh, that's based on the 27th of January next year. Uh, so let's just do uh, oh, this great one. So it is selling really fast, don't it? really quickly. So it is all inclusive drinks. Um, now, being me, I did check the drinks as well, and there's a yes. really good selection. Yeah, yeah. Very much, this is the drinks on board the cruise, obviously, with the yeah. stay afterwards. That but is they were, they were named drinks. Yeah, well, we've got Stolischnaya, you've got Bacardi, Captain Morgan's, uh, you've got your uh, Ballantine's Beef Eater, Gordon's, um, you've got your Amaretto di Zerona, uh, Bailey's, you know, they are yeah, brand, really, good branded yeah. uh, so, um, quality drinks. So, just to know, we did our homework, we checked those for you at home. So, yes, yeah, so a really good section <laughs> of drinks uh, and an exclusive savings included in the price tag. Now, the single is really good as well. I think that will sell really quickly. Uh, it starts at just 569 based now the 20th of January or the 3rd of February sailings. Return flights from London. Now, transfers are not included, but speak to the team, they can add those for you. And we did look, they, they shouldn't cost you too much at all. And as Justin just mentioned, you can actually add on a seven-night Grand Canaria stay for only £479 per person based on the uh, 27th of January departure day. Now, it is a last-minute deal, um, so we featured it just for literally 30 seconds of the week, and it turned out to be a top seller, so a real chance of getting this tonight. Prices, well... Uh, look at this, the Junior Suites have nearly all sold out now. I mean, this has been selling so, so quickly, but the inside there starts at just 519. Actually, the outside's not much more than some of those days, is that? I mean, if you look at, yeah, yeah. yeah oh God, yeah, 30 pounds more. I think the, the thing that you really need to understand here is the value, 75 pounds per person per night. That's why it's yeah, selling out it's really... so quickly, because it's literally round the corner. Uh, and I, I, I read somewhere that the 20th of Jan, the third week in January, um, it's one of the most depressing days. It is the most depressing. No, seriously. <laughs> so get away. Beat the winter blues by booking with Planet Cruise. Yes, exactly. There you go. There you go. Happy right. Uh, <laughs> but um, oh, that's a great one. I really do. Anyway, um, on to now. I was going to uh, say all of the other cruises that we've got now, they're only deposit yeah. only. So, uh, you know, if you want to look ahead to next year and beyond, then this is a great opportunity for you to pop a deposit down and have something to work towards. And to be fair, this is one of the cruise lines that everybody in the office and everybody in the cruise industry always talks about and says, you know, if you want to go on a cruise, that's the one to go for. Um, well, Justin is talking about 
Azamara Cruises. Now, I've presented the show for, for nearly 10 years. Justin has worked on cruise ships for many, many years. We'll change the details on the screen for Azamara, actually, because they're coming up right now. And I, it took me nearly 10 years to actually go on an Azamara cruise. So many customers have said, you've got to try it, Sean. You've got to try it. Their reputation is amazing. They're classed as really... It's more like a kind of boutique hotel, you know. If mm. you've ever tried, stayed in a really beautiful boutique hotel because they're smaller ships they are absolutely beautiful and everything is included so that's uh, you know they're all inclusive that's all your drinks and everything like that but the standard was incredible so good and you know, i'm not being funny but i you know I, I present the show every week with justin um but i've actually booked my next azamara cruise already so let's just give you a little taster of why they are so special um now as i mentioned smaller ships so rather than thousands of passengers you're only talking around about 600 or so passengers um, the standards are impeccable. Loads of space, so if you like, you know, lots of lots of space on a cruise ship. Uh, never felt crowded or anything like that. The most beautiful staterooms. Um, service was impeccable. I really mean that. You know, so caring. Uh, attention detail was everything with Azamara. Um, and I don't mind telling you, I actually, um, I stayed uh, just in an outside cabin. I didn't have a balcony, I just stayed on the outside, and it was wonderful. But we have got some brilliant prices tonight for balcony as well. Now, it is all inclusive, so all of your drinks and tips are included, and an amazing selection of drinks. What I particularly loved were the dining choices. There were many, many more intimate dining choices. Um, lots of outside dining as well, including the white night, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. But... It was, I can honestly say, I came back and said, do you know what, I think that's the best cruise I've ever had so far. I absolutely loved it, and I, I did book another one pretty much straight away. Um, now, I'm, I'm not going to lie, Azamara, I'm not going to be the very cheapest cruise. No. But the value and the standards, I'm incredible. But the price we've got tonight is one of the lowest prices I've ever seen. I, I do keep my eye on Azamara, and this is a real deal tonight. Yeah, and, and, to, and to be fair, because of the size of their ships, they're actually going into ports that you don't yes. usually see. We've got yeah. two ports tonight. And, well, the way I describe this cruise is if you've ever wanted to spend any time in the south of France, we're talking Cannes, Monte Carlo, the lifestyle of the rich and famous, um, but then also Provence, also two ports that we've never featured. Yeah. I certainly haven't featured them on Planet Cruise in the last, what, two years? And, no, and, and yeah. it's because they are more smaller, intimate ships. Yeah. But and, if they, you, and if you make... Sorry, go on. Just I was going to say, the, the, only th the only thing is at the end of the cruise, then you've got two classic ports, yeah. Florence and Pisa, and then Rome as well. Um, I can honestly say, I've never come back from a cruise feeling so relaxed. Um, it really was just a, a, an absolute dream to be on board. But anyway... Um, Let's talk about some of these really yeah. special ports. Yeah. 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 Well, let's, let, let's, let's kick off. Um, first of all, you, you fly out to Barcelona and you can, if you want to, uh, we can um, bespoke uh, a stay before or yes, after. Of so you can. It, if you want to stay in Barcelona and then embark the ship, or if you want to stay in Rome when you disembark the ship, then please do let your cruise specialists know. We always make it bespoke where we can. But anyway, Port Vendres is the first actual port of call that you've got here. It's a beautiful old-fashioned fishing village. This is this is what you want to see. However, you can head inland and there's some beautiful red rocks up in the back that give you some sort of an idea of what wonderful wine they can actually produce here. There's also a, a lovely lighthouse that's about six kilo, uh, kilometres down the coastline. So if you do feel a little bit active, then there's plenty to see and do there. Then we're going into Provence. Uh, of course, this is the gateway to all those wonderful lavender fields and the fantastic castle as well when you actually go into uh, um, this particular port you can see all the beautiful buildings up on there it just looks absolutely stunning then as i was saying the lifestyle of the rich and famous if you want to yeah. go to Cannes, you know a flavor of the film festival bear in mind this this isn't when the film festival is on but you can feel like a film star you know in the south of france you know, you know, it's just, you know, go down oh, like this. to, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, look, this is the type of place where you go and find a beach. You might have to pay to, to get a sun lounger, but you'll actually get drink service there and you'll just think, wow, this is how everybody lives. Yeah. Um, Monte Carlo and Monaco is one of my favourite destinations for lots of different reasons. It's a stunning place and it's also got a wealth of history when it comes uh, to the rich and famous and of course Formula One. So if you love motorsport, um, then go to, uh, I mean, Café de Paris is just there by the, um, 
uh, the uh, casino there. You can actually walk the race circuit. You can go to the Princess Grace Gardens as well. It's absolutely stunning. It's a great place. It, yeah, yeah. One of my favourites, absolute favourites. Uh, then off to Port of Anir. This is a quaint, small village, and I'm telling you now, one of the things you have to go and do, there's a church here of St. Pietro, which dates back to the pagan times. We're talking like 1252 AD. Um, and uh, this is actually where the original name of the port came from after one of the, uh, the deities, uh, Venus Arincia. Um, so it's, it's one of those places you want to have a wander around, learn some of the history and just soak up that atmosphere. But big ports now. We're off to Florence and Pisa. And this is the great thing that when you dock at Livorno, you can spend your time in the port itself, but a short ride away, you can go to the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, you can go and see the Statue of David, or go to the Leaning Tower. I mean, you can do it all in one day if you haven't done it before. I would have thought if you're booking an Azamara cruise, you'd have probably done a few cruises before, and this is a yeah, special yeah, one. Yeah, I agree. Um, but still, it is nice to go. But I can't remember the last time I went back to Pisa, and I think, you know, it's wonderful to return. Anyway, then uh, <laughs> Rome. I mean, where do, you, where do you start with Rome? You can start with the Colosseum. You can go to the Vatican City. You can go to Spanish Steps, the Trevi Fountain. You can go and see the Sistine Chapel. All of that can be done in one day uh, from the port of Civitavecchia. But we should say, if you want to spend a little bit longer in Rome, Planet Cruise can major, can't they? Do you know what? Yeah, actually, I'd, I'd, I'd be really stuck between if you said to me which one, I'll probably say both. Yeah, I would, I would too. <laughs> I would too. You know, if you can afford it. Now, now let's just take you on board the Asmana journey. I, I loved the ship. Honestly, she is beautiful. She's mm. so, so beautifully maintained. Um, as I said, so if you think about a boutique hotel, lots of small intimate spaces, intimate dining mm. areas. Beautiful. Uh, and you said you said earlier on when we were chatting that you loved the As Amazing Evening. Oh, I did. Because what was your As Amazing well, Evening? Well, there were two evenings that were really special. There was um, the White Night, where everyone dresses in white. Okay. And there's a massive barbecue and buffet outside. Yeah. And a band. It was it was fantastic. Yeah. And then there's the As Amazing Evening. Now, Matt, yeah, yeah, evening. yeah. Now, mine was a, a, an opera. Oh, okay. Now, I've, I don't normally go to the opera. But that's the interesting it's thing, fun. isn't it? Yeah. And to go and actually see a fantastic oh, that, show. That was my room, by the way. That that was that was your room. <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> yeah, that's exact. That was the room I stayed in. Yeah. I'd, I'd ask cabin one two six nine <laughs> not to have that room if possible. <laughs> just in, just um, in case. No, but I had the ocean view. But uh, we've got some great prices for for some of the randers as well. Now the. I don't want to talk too much about drinks, but the choice of drinks was incredible. And actually, they, they changed the wines every day, so you've always got a good choice of whites and reds and roses. Yeah. And they actually changed them, so it's not just one house wine or anything like that. Big, big choice. The As Amazing Evening, now these were so well orchestrated and organised and such fun. Uh, mine was an opera. This is an ice show. Yeah. I bet, bear in mind, you were saying that all your canapes and your drinks were included. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I know others Lovely. weren't indulging, but you know, that's that's the um, great thing. Um, you also get a chance of staying pre or post cruise uh, in Barcelona and Rome, and return flights from London are, of course, included. I cannot recommend Azamar enough. So uh, they're a real favourite of mine now, and uh, yeah. I've already booked my next one. It's yeah. just a shame, so, yeah. How's that going? Okay, uh, we, wish, we wish you well with your, with yeah. your broken you, arm. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, because Lee was supposed to be here from Azamar. Um, I just think if you've if you've done a lot of cruises and you're looking for the next step, next level, and I'd say a smaller ship, more intimate, um, that's one to go for. Yeah. Never crowded or anything like that. You yeah. know, it's wonderful. Really and, and, to, 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 and to be fair, Sean was actually recommending that I look. At I the, did. I yeah. said Justine. I think because he needs a bit of chill out time, and I think you'd love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I really no, do. Good. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, right. Sorry. Onwards, upwards. Yeah, because we've uh, got seven cruises tonight. And yeah. We've got Marilla next. Now, we, we, we've got to keep explaining this because you might have missed the last few shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so those are the fans of... Uh those of you that are fans of Thompson, um, it's the, the new brand of Thompson, which is now Morella. So it's the same great ships, but just sailing under a different name. And this particular cruise, oh, this is amazing. phenomenal. Yeah. Well, we've, we were saying we've never had this itinerary with Thompson before. No, no, so we, with Thompson before, but now with Morella. This is the first time they're actually doing the Far East, and the actual ports that they're going to here are superb. Um, and I'm going to say it again, you're going to have a terrible time, but it is all-inclusive. Yeah. Just, Which for actually just six, to throw that into the mix. Well, sorry, but it's true, but for 60 nights, that yeah. would cost you an awful lot of money, wouldn't it? Yeah. Would yeah. you, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? No, you just think, you know, if you just have a couple of glasses of wine over a night and then an aperitif for, you know, a nightcap, that doesn't add up over. Yeah. And you want, to, you want to be able to enjoy it and not get to the end of the cruise and go, Ooh! Crikey, right. put it on the credit card. That, at least then, it's all-inclusive, and we're talking good quality. Yeah. That's, do you know what? Sometimes I'd rather have better quality and not as much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. No, yes, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Now, I'm mellowing in my old um, age. <laughs> now, Justin has travelled the world because he actually worked in the cruise ships for many, many years, and we get to see so many amazing... I love to just show a picture of my face there. Yeah, there's his face. <laughs> like, He's travelled the world. Look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, You've been, the many of the, you've been to yeah. many of these places, and it's 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 a wonderful itinerary. So let, let's um, talk to you. Now we starts with the flight to Bangkok, doesn't it? Yeah, first, uh, and and this is where you actually have you know your first day um, in port. Bangkok is fantastic. You know, if if you want to do it in the daytime, then you've got the city, but you've got the markets. Go and get, get some of those great noodles. You know, if you love authentic cuisine, then you will love this. One thing that I personally recommend is Jim Thompson's house. Um, which is a beautiful mansion. There's some great temples there as well. Um, it's that sort of lovely contrast of the two. Uh, then we're off to Cambodia. Um, oh, and... bit, that, yes, we are. Sorry, but we, we get on the ship, don't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm already, yeah. We, yeah. Of course, yeah, we get, Look, we, we get on yeah, the ship. We, they, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get on the ship yeah. and then we have a fantastic yeah. day in Bangkok. Yeah, you need to get on the ship first. And, uh, yes, your transfers are included. I get into trouble if I talk about Bangkok too much. It, it, it starts ending up going down down a road that you shouldn't go, but you always do. Anyway, I'll, it, pull, I'll pull you back. And you know what? Half half the passengers they will they will they'll walk down that road. Anyway, um, then we're on to our second port of call. You got you got to walk walk the wildlife. Um, just look at but, the ship, though, Justin. There's a lot to do on the Discovery, isn't there? Yeah, and the great thing is the facilities nine hole. Um, uh, pitch and putt. Uh, you've got fantastic facilities for, for the family as well. You've got your rock climbing pool there as well. Uh, some fantastic... Was this a former Royal Caribbean ship? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You, just, just... you can really see that, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And, but one of the great things is the interiors that they've refreshed and renewed, it really does... We used to say Tom tonight, way. so what, what are we going to yeah. say now? Morello? Yeah, yeah, probably. I tell Coralla, we were saying about local uh, authentic cuisine, but I tell you what, that's some good food, some good food. And everybody always used to say about, you know, how Thompson, again, the same sort of great staff experience, you know, the the, um, uh, the crew that's on board and the entertainment as well. Honestly, they were always known for that, and that, that strand still goes through. Well, just now, honestly, we, we get to meet hundreds of, 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 you know, viewers and passengers, and Thompson, I say, now Morella, they get the most amazing feedback time after time, and that's everything: service, food, entertainment, and fun. Yeah. You know. So now we've got on, on right, board the so ship. We have on, to, yeah. now, now we've talked talk. about Bangkok. Um, <laughs> 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 let's head off to Cambodia. And uh, this, to be to be fair, Shanoksville is um, definitely the premier beach resort of um, uh, Cambodia. There's some great water sports and great activities here. So you know, if you want to have a day on the beach. Then you can either lay there with a palm tree or you can get out on a jet ski, go and do some stuff. Just look That's, beautiful. Yeah. Well, not, nice relaxing day at sea to get used to that fantastic ship. And then we're into our first big port of call. We're into Vietnam, with it, and this is Phu Mi, which is the port for Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, you can see the Notre Dame Square there. Definitely go to the Sea Goddess Shrine as well. It's like a little island that you sort of like walk out into the, the sea and up to. Um, and uh, have a long, one little bit of a wander along the Mekong as well. So uh, some great history there. Another relaxing day at sea, and then we're into Malaysia. Now, Malacca, we're hitting all the premier beach resorts. Malacca has got to be uh, effectively where Malaysia began. It, you know, it really is a hustle and a bustle, but a fantastic uh, uh, place itself. There's uh, a new um, Ferris wheel that they're actually put in, um, which uh, they've got 16 pods that you can have a good look over the town itself. Uh, and you, go to, you can go to St. Francis Xavier's Church as well, which uh, if you want to do a little bit of the uh, sort of history, then you can do. But this is the highlight for me, and this is, this is again, coming from recommendations, um, highly recommended, Langkawi. Wow. I've, I've, I've got probably about 20 or 30 people that I know that have been here, and they all say the same. Can't wait to go back. And you've got an overnight in Langkawi, so you can get to really relax, enjoy the beaches. It's, it is very much like the Caribbean. You know, when you get that really relaxed feel, you will love this I place. Mean, look, look how the white that sand is. Oh, I mean, I mean, the beaches are fantastic. Yeah. The resorts are also good as well. You know, it is worth sometimes spending that little bit extra and going into a resort for the day to get the facilities. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, then we're off to Penang. Um, this has got a fantastic butterfly farm, apparently. So if you oh. want to do something a little bit different, break it up. Um, and uh, history does say that they actually cleared the island uh, where uh, one of the guys, they, they had a, a cannon and they shoved a load of gold coins in there, fired the cannon out into the wilderness 
and basically then all the locals had to go out and find the gold coins, but at the same time, they were clearing all of the, the stuff away to ah. say, clever, clever guys, clever guys. Gold did in, all the gold, gold, gold coins, did they all get found? Or? I don't know. Huh? Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, could go lucky. Have you got some gold coins for Christmas? You got yeah, Christmas is got, Christmas. Got, if you, you get the chocolate, chocolate ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, but gold, gold chocolate ones. No, yeah. <laughs> Twenty-four karat gold chocolate <laughs> ones. Anyway, um, then we're off to Kuala Lumpur. Now, Kuala Lumpur, for me, there's one thing you've got to go and do. See the Petronas Towers. Well, depends on where where you. you there's, it's either Petronas in Malaysia or Petronas in um, in uh, Europe. And I tell you what, this is amazing. We went there and went across the Sky Tower. I think it's about the 43rd floor. They actually, it was 17 tons and it took two days to lift it up there. And one of the towers is wonky by about 26 oh, inches. Really? They had to, they, they had two different companies that were building it and it's just slightly out, but it is absolutely stunning. You've got to go and see that. Uh, and around the base of it, there's some great shopping. Some great shopping. By the way, yes, I have been there. Um, on to one of my favorite destinations. Oh, I love right. everywhere, don't I? I love everywhere. It depends on when. Monaco in, 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 in the summer, Singapore in the winter, about September time. So, I mean, you know, you have travelled a lot in Singapore. I was only there for a day. I was only there a few weeks ago. And this, I see. Gardens by the Bay, definitely stunning. Wander around there. The Marina Bay Hotel, um, Raffles. I, to, to you now, I, think, I think they've just finished refurbishing the Long Bar, which is the original place that they had the Singapore Sling. But you walk in there, and you know, you know the monkey nuts that you get? You sort of break them up, and at home they make a real mess. It raffles, they encourage you to put it on the floor. They actually break it, leave it on the floor. They actually bring uh, a little like hessian bag of monkey nuts to your table with your drinks. And they're like, go oh, on, mess the place up. It's brilliant. Really, really worth doing. And the shopping's awesome as well. Anyway, then uh, relaxing debt scene wins Koh Samui. Can we believe that I'm going to say that Koh Samui is your come down port? Because this is at the end of the cruise, you're like, oh, we've just done Singapore. We've just done Malaysia. Now you can chill out in Thailand. And this is stunning. I'll just be on the beach all day. There's some great temples, but the beach is here. Look at that. Look, look, just I mean, look at that. This is a, it, it is a cracking itinerary, isn't it? Uh, and then back to Lam Shibang, of course, we disembark yeah. and you fly and again, back to London. And again, this is a deposit of £125. Yeah. So certainly, you know, if, if you want to think about this is... January 2019, I did say that we'd have cruises, uh, you know, a little bit further out. Then this is yeah. great, £125. But, um, it's the first time we've featured this itinerary with It'll Mirella. fly. Um, it will, yeah. yeah. So if you, were, if you do want to book it tonight, £125 as Justin said, is all you need. Uh, by the way, we've actually got a few free upgrades as well. Uh, if you want to upgrade from Deluxe, uh, from Balcony to Deluxe, then you can do that on the 26th of December or the 17th and 9th of January there. Um, oh, so don't, don't forget you go to Bangkok. We didn't mention it earlier on, did we? <laughs> you went on and on about it. <laughs> um, now, um, do you know, can I, can I just check those other dates? Are they, um, yeah, yeah, there we go. So we've got a, dates in just the 26th, September 18, all the ah. way through tonight. I like no, that idea. This, yeah, but I, we've also I got like a last a minute. Day. Yeah, we've got a last minute deal on this one. Um, if you haven't made your mind up on what you're going to do for New Year, let me let me say this to you now. If you haven't made your mind up on what you're going to do this New Year, as in like two weeks' time, then there's an opportunity to go out here for just £899 per person. And that gives you Caribbean over the new year no that's 899 so i'm not going to give the id number just phone up right now and say i want to go to the caribbean for new year with morella um just just give them a call oh. give them a call because that that's awesome so some great deals from morella tonight but if you do want the cruise on the screen then say 125 pounds deposit i think it's mm. great dates i love the idea of going away say over uh, over new year anyway yeah. how about going um, away for christmas I love that as well. That's yeah. coming up later. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'd like? I mean, many of you know that I've been very lucky. I think I've done about 25 ocean cruises, but I've never done a river cruise. No? Like the idea. Yeah. Like that different. Do you like city breaks? Yeah, I do, yeah. You'd love this because um, literally day in, day out, you're stopping in sometimes two places in one day. 
Do you know, also, I like the idea of taking my mum away on a river cruise, but my mum's getting a little bit old for flying. Mm. This one's superb, because you can actually take the Eurostar, can't you? And we, 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 t we yeah. were chatting about this earlier on. It's, it's one of my sort of, uh, I don't know, it's, I used to always wanted to fly on Concorde and do the Orient Express and, and so sell really, yeah. Cunard, you know, from, from London to New York. And I think this, the Eurostar, it's just, you know, the good old-fashioned way. Yeah. Just, who cares about, you know, getting there quickly? Just get there in style. I you know? say, it. Uh, and if some of you maybe hate flying, I can't fly. Yes, this could yeah, be very good point. Uh, very and good it's, point. A, it's, it's a four night river cruise with, of course, Riviera travel. And yeah. we're talking absolute luxury. Well, we're talking five star, we're talking a ship that's only just set sail this year and it's been designed specifically for the Rhine and this particular region. It is not what you'd expect. I mean, look at that. I it mean, is an atrium on a river cruise ship. Uh, and when you take a look at the refinement of it, I mean, this is five star. To give you some sort of an idea of the quality of this, you have excursions included at every single port. The ship itself has a guaranteed minimum of 17 square metres, that's 183 square feet, per cabin. And that's even the single cabins, which have no supplement whatsoever tonight. No supplement tonight at all. And that's the great thing. You're looking at a maximum, maximum of 169 passengers. Now, a ship of this size, other cruise lines, they'll probably have 190 people on board. But that means then that the 44 trained staff and crew that you've got on board, you've got great quality of service because, you know, they are looking after a smaller number of people. Uh, and every room is a suite, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the, really the, like this the size of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're going to love where we're going as well. Um, we should point out now, um, the, this actually featured uh, a little while ago... Mm. Um, and it completely sold out. So we've yeah. got the next lot of dates that are available on tonight's show, but it completely mm. sold out last time it was on. Not just, surprised. Just to give you an idea of costs as well, this is £138 per person per night. Now, OK, we've done 75 but this is including all of your excursions as well. And this, that, that, to, to think that you've got all of that included for that one price, that is and, that's great value. And it's going to be very, well, five-star as well. Yeah, yeah it's going to be very luxurious. <laughs> you do notice well. the difference. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Uh, we're, we're taking the Eurostar from the UK to yes, Cologne. Yes, yeah, over to Cologne, and this is where you embark the Emily Bronte. And your first day, you're actually going to be enjoying breakfast whilst cruising along the, uh, the Rhine Valley. And this is the great thing, that you'll go through the Rhine Gorge, you can see where the river starts to speed up a little bit. Um, and then, uh, you, well, if you've ever heard of the, the, the tale of Lorelei, um, the maiden that was said to have enticed sailors uh, onto the rocks, then uh, this, is, this is where the... The, the good old Wasdale comes. Um, and then you're going to be docking in Rudersheim. Now, of course, this is Christmas market time. Yeah. You're going to absolutely love it. This is one of the, uh, the oldest itself. It is quintessential chocolate box Christmas market. Um, I was due to go this year. I'm, I'm gutted that I'm not because Christmas markets... It's just awesome. If you've never done it before, you've got to do it because with all respect to the ones in the UK, they're nice, but it, it ain't a patch on the ones in Germany. It really is. It really isn't. Um, then we're on, on, on our next day is uh, Frankfurt. And by the way, just to, just to emphasise, you are getting guided walking tours around in every single one of these ports or different options. Frankfurt, however, this has one of the oldest... Christmas market. They say it dates back 600 years, making it one of the oldest in Europe. The tree over there is 100 foot high, and you can just imagine the smells. You know, you just think of the gingerbread, you think of the wonderful bratwurst and brockwurst and currywurst, and all the wonderful. Um, they do this um, fantastic dish, which is like, um, oh, what's it called? It's like shredded potato in like a little pancake with then uh, a wonderful mayonnaise. Oh, it's just great, it's awesome. Ooh, it sounds, you know when yeah. it's cold and then you then you go, oh, I fancy a mulled wine. Ah, mulled wine in Germany is Glühwein. Glühwein, Glühwein. And this is where you have a shot of brandy in there or something else. It's, oh, I'll tell you what, it's good, it's good. Anyway, then we're into Koblenz. Now, Koblenz, one of my favorite ports. So you, uh, you've got a fantastic um, statue just at the corner of Koblenz as you're coming off of the Rhine. I don't know whether we'll see it, we may. Um, but you're only in here for the day, and this is where the actual river splits itself. Um, you spend the morning in Koblenz, and then you're back on board for lunch and returning to Cologne, where you have an overnight on board. Now, look, this is the great thing. This is one of the best markets. So I actually got some um, beautiful little tea lights, some uh, little pottery glazed ones. 
and uh, we've still got them. We've actually got them out in the, the lounge. We, we have them out all year round. It's not like that Christmassy. But that tree there apparently has, oh, there's 160 stalls, but 50,000 LED lights. I'm telling you now, just go there for that. And because it's overnight, your ship is literally docked. This is the cathedral. Oh, okay. The ship is just docked behind it. So the river Jack. runs down it. There's a bridge, and, there's, and that's the cathedral. Look, there, there you go. Look, you can see the cathedral in the background. Yeah, I, I, honestly, you may see me on board uh, that on one of the days. Honestly, I, have you I, never done the Christmas markets? No. Do it. No, and I've never I'm, done the I'm not just saying that for the, the show. Do yeah. it. That. No, honestly, you've, 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 you've made me want to do it, Justin. <laughs> the glue vine. Um, um, spice cider as well is good. It's all sounding great to me. Now, all the excursions Justin said are included. No single supplement. Now, the single cabins will go very quickly tonight. So try and, you know, get on the phone lines as soon as you can to book those. Uh, drinks with meals packages are available for less than uh, £15 per person per night. Return Eurostar, want to do it? I, I really do. Uh, well, that is included. If you'd prefer to fly, then we have got flights available from the various UK airports. Just that, a supplement. So just call for details. And the price there, um, every room is a suite. And uh, the lead date there is actually the 15th of December, starting at just 549 no, um, no supplement for the single prices, but we have got French balcony suites and superior suites available as well. Sold out last time it was on. We've got it back with some brand new dates for tonight's show. That was great. Do it for one. next year. You yeah. know, look, time's run out now. Every, every, everybody's proper full on into Christmas. Book it for next year. I tell you what, though, do you fancy a quickie? Because this is a fantastic. Well, this is. I'm going to give you the price. I'm going to give you where it's going. You'll love it. Fred Olsen. If any of you are watching now that's never cruised before, this is a great way to just dip a toe into the world of the cruise market. And for those of you that have already got five cruises booked next year, I'm sure there's one that you can just squeeze in because this is awesome. Really great price, great ports as well. We're talking Amsterdam and Antwerp, and it's under £100 per person, £98 per person per night. Um, you can add an extra night on the Holiday Inn in Winchester for just £95 per person, right. and that includes your breakfast, parking, and port transfers. Bear in mind that, you know, Fred Olsen, they've been around for years, and they do what they do, and they do it well. So for those of you that are regular cruisers, um, I've worked with a lot of people within the industry that they've said that they always loved. There was something great about the atmosphere that was on board. Again, you're looking at smaller ships. We're, we're only talking 43,000 tonnes, uh, which is about 1,200 passengers. It's got all of the facilities that you need, all of your restaurants, all of your, uh, your bars. I mean, you've got the Lido bar, you've got the Marquee bar, you've got the Morning Light pub as well, and the obser observation lounge for your panoramic views and your afternoon tea. So, you know, plenty to see and do. But do you want to see where you're going? I'd love to. I mean, what I said about a quickie yeah. is literally five and nights, you're going from Southampton over to Amsterdam. Now, the great thing is you get an overnight in Amsterdam. So in the daytime, you can do all the historic stuff. You can go and see the Anne Frank Museum. You can go and see all of the artists. Perhaps head a little bit further out and see the tulips. And then in the evening, if you want to do a little bit of window shopping or see some of the cafe culture, can I just recommend that there's some fantastic places down there. And I know it has a certain... Um, preconception, shall we say? It's not. It's not actually. It's an experience. You should go. You should go. Open your eyes and go down there and go, you know what? We've been there, done that, bought the t shirt. Then we're off to Antwerp. What can we say about Antwerp? Diamonds. Again, fantastic opportunity to get out and see some beautiful architecture. And with this, by the way, this particular cruise, you do get onboard spend to spend on your tours. So you get um, tour credit, effectively. Um, so um, you know, or, or you can have free drinks. Or free drinks. Yes. Or free drinks. Just uh, to point that out, Justin. Just, choice. Yeah, just completely cut me down. <laughs> no, you yeah. got a choice. Yeah, free so, drinks. So. You got a choice. <laughs> Justin's gone for the tours. I've gone for the free drinks. Uh, now uh, let's just break this down for you. Um, so yeah, it, it is a choice. Seriously, you decide whether you want all inclusive drinks or money to spend on your tours. Uh, you've got the overnight on board in both Amsterdam and Antwerp. And uh, as Justin mentioned earlier, if you'd like to stay the night before your cruise in the Holiday Inn in Winchester, you can do that for only £95 per person. That includes all of your breakfast, your parking and your port transfers as well. Don't I have, forget I it's on... deposit only on this one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I was actually on the bad model with my mum a few years ago and we had a great time. Great ship, Yeah, right? really nice ship, really lovely. But from the small to the large. Yeah! If you love your large ships, and when I say large, you know, the list of, of stuff, I mean, 
we've got one of the longest videos that we're going to show you now um, because there's so much on board this ship. Well, you've this got the is North a... Star, you've got bumper cars, you've got so many different restaurants. I can't believe that Glenn got a chance to do it. I know, I know. he gets all the good jobs. Well, he? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this, of course, is the one and only Royal Caribbean, the anthem of the seas. It's Glenn on board, of course, isn't it? Yeah, mm. yeah. He does get all the good gigs. Here he is. When you're travelling on board Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas, it honestly feels like you've taken a trip in Doctor Who's TARDIS. It is so futuristic. Robotic bartenders, virtual balconies and venues that literally change in front of your eyes, you will feel like you've been transported to the moon as your first port of call. <laughs> this really is a smart ship. Shall we go and explore? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. On board, there are 18 different dining experiences, which means that if you're on the ship for a week, you could have your dinner and your lunch somewhere different every day and still not have tried them all. But the best is behind me, Jamie's Italian. Yes, the naked chef has brought his fresh, rustic Italian food to sea with Royal Caribbean. Oh, I got bumped. Ah! This is Royal Caribbean Seaplex and it is absolutely amazing. By day, you can come down here and learn to juggle or do some trapeze skills with the circus school. And then, of course, you've got the first ever bumper cars at sea. Bumper cars at sea, amazing. And then at night, this transforms into a roller disco. I've bought my leg warmers. Right, I'm off. I've got to get them back. I think this is the most exciting cruise ship venue I've ever experienced. You've got two and a half decks worth of glass just wrapping around 270 degrees of the aft of the ship. So it means that in the day, the light streams in. Then at night, these huge windows become one giant TV. A stunning video is projected onto the glass. Acrobats descend from the heavens and huge robotic arms dance with live performers. Trust me, you've never seen anything like this. Welcome to the cruise industry's first bionic bar. You order via the tablets provided or via your smartphone on the IQ app and then your order is displayed on the screens around the bar. A bar bot then blends your order with laser precision and lightning speed. Fresh from its 12 year hit run in London's West End, the musical We Will Rock You will be premiering here in the Royal Theatre and you can even book the best seats online. The accommodation on board Anthem of the Seas offers you plenty of fantastic options. For a start, all the interior staterooms feature virtual balconies with real-time views allowing you to lie in bed at night and watch the moon ripple across the water. However, if you'd like to feel like a king or queen for the day, then how about trying out the Royal Loft? This is a spectacular two-deck high suite which comes complete with its own whirlpool and butler service. An, an amazing ship. I, I love... Can you have butler service whilst you're in the whirlpool? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> Press a <the> button. <laughs> Bubbles, please. Not that type. <laughs> is, it, is it great that there's, there's such a, a massive choice now with cruises? You know, and I love both small ships and big ships and medium ships. I, I tend to love all ships, but you would never be bored with Royal Caribbean, would well, you? Well, again, never. It, itinerary. I mean, yeah. talk about big ship. This is big itineraries. We're talking Niagara Falls... We're talking New York. We're talking, I mean, it's planes, trains and automobiles because you get a chance to travel on the Amtrak and then you get a cruise after that as well. Yeah. Shall we see where we go? Yes. Go on then. So we're starting off in London. Then we're flying out to Toronto. And this is where you have a two-night stay um, and get a chance to go and see Niagara. And again, the fact is, I always say this, it's night and day when you are in port overnight because, yeah, Niagara's going to look great in the daytime, but in the evening they've got this wonderful light show. It looks amazing. And one Again, thing I... Again, it's on my bucket list, you oh, know? Oh, definitely. And I highly recommend booking... Not, not the, uh, the tour where you go on the... Um, I always forget the name of the ship there, where you get the spray. You can go behind the actual falls itself. So, uh, again, if you want to book any of the tours, then please ask your cruise specialist. Look at it at night. It's absolutely stunning. Then we, then you've got um, a, a day at leisure before you join the Amtrak. Now, this, again, with, you said about the Eurostar, you know, I always think it's, it's one of those things that you've just got to do. To go on an Amtrak, all of those American movies that I remember, yeah, yeah. you know, growing up, and you're like, oh, wow, you're actually on the Amtrak travelling to New York. Hey? And we were talking about New York earlier. I mean, it is the most amazing city. We, we uh, the last time I was there, we crammed so much in. I mean, it, but one thing I've got to recommend is get up early and you will cruise past Liberty Island. So, yeah, yeah. done, tick, you don't have to go on the tour. Go into Central Park, there's a fantastic and Whole Foods store just, at, just on the corner. I can't remember the name of the street now. 
Um, but you can go to the Whole Foods store, get a great picnic and go in there. And the bridges, the Empire State Building, and you've got, go up Rockefeller, go up Rockefeller, yeah, yeah, don't do go that. up Empire, go up Rockefeller, because then you can see Empire. That's a great thing. Yeah, Broadway, uh, if you want to go and see some of the shows, then again, ask the crew specialist to be able to do that. Definitely go to Hell's Kitchen. It's a suburb where there's some fantastic eateries and, and dining, dining. It's just stunning. You've got the High Line, which is good to walk in the day, which is an old railway line um, that they've just put out to garden. So it's, it's like one story above. Um, there's all the other stuff. And, and, I mean, and I just saw the picture of Central Park um, in the autumn. And if you do take yeah. the lead date, that is going to look amazing. Yeah, it? yeah. But I'd, I'd, I'd say head right down, right down, go to Greenwich Village. Because uh, it's brilliant anyway, stuff there. We can't stay in New York forever, just Why? No. Because we've got I an amazing to. cruise. All right, then. Go on, then. Hello. Um, we get on board. Right, well, how about we go to Boston? I mean, this is, this is the cradle of American independence. Um, I mean, you've got the, 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 the site of the Boston Tea Party here. You've got one of the oldest commissions warships uh, as well. And, and Harvard Square. You know, all the films that you've seen where they're playing chess outside, that's the scene for it. Then, oh, and of course, how can I forget Boston without talking about Cheers? Remember yeah, Cheers, course, the Cheers yeah. bar. It's not actually, it, it was inspired. The bar that was in Boston, it's actually on Beacon Street. It inspired the Cheers bar. But you've got to go in and have a drink there. Because where everybody knows your name, it's just it's great. Anyway, um, then we're off to Maine. We're off to Portland. Now, I've got to say that this, this is just get out and just see the place. Because you've got the Promenade Pathway, which is a two-mile trail along the coast. That lighthouse is officially, that you just saw there, uh, the most photographed lighthouse in the whole of America. Um, so, you, you pr again, you've probably oh. seen it for some, some films. That's yeah. Portland, Portland Head Light. Um, so, uh, go and see that. Uh, then we're off to Bar Harbor. Bar Harbor is the quintessential sort of lobster pot, uh, American little sort of port, a little, little fishing village, really. It is fantastic for that, for, for the cuisine. Um, Thunder Hole, um, you just saw there, where the waves crash in, where it's sort of eroded away, it really does sound as if it's like a massive clap of thunder. Um, so there's, there's plenty to see there, loads of lighthouses, and you can go to the Acadia National Park as well which is uh, which is going to be beautiful in autumn then we're off to canada uh we're going to head to new brunswick and this is the oldest settlement here they've got something called the reversing rapids the actual flow that you've got here is is quite unique there's a 170 mile long ocean on the east coast and it creates this great pool some great food markets there and also whilst you're there you've got to go to the bay of fundy um, which the, the the coastline that you saw if you thought that bar harbor was great then then you want to go and see this so you've got a nice relaxing day at sea before you go into Nova Scotia. We've got to Halifax. Now, one of the most important things about this port is the Maritime Museum. And particularly for those of you that love old ships, they've actually got the world's foremost collection of Titanic memorabilia, because this would have been the actual port that Titanic would have pulled into. They've got some of the old um, uh, sun loungers, some of the only ones that survived. So it's, it's really good to go and see it if you're into that sort of thing. If not, go to Peggy's Cove. I was just going to say that the director is just, he's on my wavelength. Uh, he's on my wavelength. I'd like to put it anyway. Um, so Peggy's, Peggy's Point Lighthouse is, is definitely worth going to see. Then you've got a nice day at sea before going back into New York, disembarking and flying back overnight. Wow. Um, we have some amazing cruises now. I know that we are. I know we, um, we are nearly out of time on this one, but here's, here's a final look at this amazing ship, the Anthem of the Seas. And let's just recap what's included. So, I mean, look, that, is it, it's incredible what you can do on that ship, isn't it? It really is. Um, but we are going to give you a two-night stay in that full-star hotel in Niagara Falls and New York as well. That iconic Amtrak rail journey from Niagara to New York and return flights based on London Heathrow there as well. Uh, Price-wise, we've got um, dates from August right the way through to October. Um, and as you can see there, it, it's really worth upgrading to an ocean villa mm. balcony because the difference is really small on that one, isn't it? And one really final small. thing, that Amtrak journey brings you into Grand Central. Go and find the Oyster Bar in Grand Central Station. That's all I'll say. OK, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Um, now we have one final cruise for you, mm. and uh, this is it's another all-inclusive, isn't it? Yeah, and, and this this is this is actually one of our bosses back at the uh, the office. This is his favourite cruise tonight because really? fantastic, really small ship, um, great itinerary as well. If you've ever wanted to do the Greek islands, and you were talking about Mykonos, how yeah. much you love Mykonos, I know my other half, she absolutely loves Mykonos. This is one of yeah. this is overnight. Um, and I will let you know, the Greek islands, they can be a bit expensive. So the best way of seeing them is actually on a cruise yeah. and, yeah. and all-inclusive. And this is all-inclusive as well. So let's have a little look.
Now, it's so great. smaller ships just in the so, yeah, Smaller ships took in 25,000 tonnes. It is small. Maximum of 1,200 passengers uh, that you've got. But yeah, Greece is just going to be stunning. I mean, just think of the whitewashed walls, those blue roofs. And, you know, we are talking Mykonos. We're talking Santorini, uh, Kuzadasi as well. Um, all on, and this is the reason why you can go to these places because these ships are that small. But even though the size doesn't matter, you've still got casinos on board, you've got a fantastic range of lounges. So you've got the Muses Lounge, Eros, the Sports Lounge, and Horizons. On top of that, you've got more dining choice than other ships of the same size, uh, with two full restaurants and two additional casual dining areas as well. And we've only been recently featuring Celestial Cruises, haven't we? But they yes. did really well. Well, we did one around Cuba, and it was yes. absolutely... I mean, I love the destination, Cuba. A little bit of Havana, I'm in there. But Greece, this, yeah. is, that, this, is, this is an area that, you know what... You wouldn't have to twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are, these are definitely some of my, my favourite islands, actually. So let, let's talk you through. Um, so we're, we're flying from London to Athens, first of all, Yes, yeah, and then you're embarking the ship, and then your first day and your first night is going to be in Mykonos. Now, straight away, I mean, it is um, Shirley Valentine's yeah. sort of country. You can see the wonderful windmills of Mykonos, which is iconic in so many films, Shirley Valentine being one born identity, the other. Anyway, um, but no, overnight it is one of those places that you want to find, especially the sunset, just find a bar. It will cost you a little bit more for drinks, as you were mentioning, but you're paying for the view because you can just sit there and watch the port. Um, there's a great bustling nice nightlife in Mykonos. Um, it's almost like, um, you know when you go back sort of 20 years where Ibiza was the cool place to go, but it was kind of off the beaten track? That's what yeah, Mykonos is. Great. Yeah. Some, there is some great sort of uh, nightlife venues. So for those of you that are a little bit younger at heart, I'll tell you what, you'll have a cracking night there. Um, then we're off to Milos. Now, this is known as the Island of Colours, and that's because of the, the volcanic um, uh, sand. Some fantastic... I mean, look at the, the actual colour of the sea there. Um, you've got 70 beaches, and again, fantastic little plaque market as well. Um, you know, it's a quintessential. I mean, you, you can't go far wrong here. Then we're off to Santorini. Um, Santorini, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Yeah, yeah. and if you, if you, well, I mean, if you want to look so. at any Greek yogurt, yogurt advert, that has got to yeah. be Santorini. I mean, look at that. There you go. I mean, Santorini. But apparently, this is where um, Atlantis is. They've done a lot of extensive research, and of course, it's in a, a volcanic um, cauldron, effectively. So, um, yeah, really nice there. Then we're off to Heraklion. Now, at the end of the cruise is more, more studious, shall we say, that if you want to do uh, a little bit more tours, excursions, then you can do. Um, and this, I mean, this is, a, this is just superb, superb. Then we're off to Kuzadasi. This is uh, where you want to go and see uh, all the ruins of Ephesus. You want to go see the House of Virgin Mary, the Basilica of St. John, and, of course, the terrace houses. All of that is in Kuzadasi. Um, so, uh, fantastic to finish up that. And then, of course, you're disembarking in Athens. And if you do want to, we can add on uh, a stay for you. So uh, please make sure that if you do want to extend where we can, we will. I don't know. I mean, to see all those beautiful islands... Um, yeah. And to know you're actually paying less than £900. And all of your tips are included as well, by the way. So it's all your yes. tips and all yeah. your drinks, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, let's just have a little look on board. So really nice ship, as you can see there. Um, not too big, so 1,200 passengers. 1,200 passengers, yeah. just 25,000 tonnes. She's yeah, lovely. Great. She's lovely. She's got all the facilities that you'd want, but bear in mind, you're getting into ports that other ships are too large to go into. Uh, now, don't forget, all-inclusive and exclusive discounts on all sailings. You're getting those great overnights on board in, in two of my favourite places of all time, actually, Mykonos and Santorini. Uh, return flights from London, transfers not included, but we can add those, of course, as well. And we also, oh yeah, we have some of the mini cruises, don't we, as well? Mm. So we do have a three and four night cruise available with a hotel stay in Athens. Again, just call for details. Right, price wise, we start at just 899 uh, in May, but gotta say, again, the prices, they don't really increase even in peak season there. They're still really, really good. Uh, great prices also on singles and junior balcony suites. So I tell you what, the drinks package is good on, on this one as well. Really, we have, really is. It is fantastic. But uh, Have you been studying? Um, well, you know, I just, you know, just want to have a little, yeah, little, a little bit of a look. Um, there is ouzo flowing, um, and there's also non-alcoholic cocktails and mineral water as well, as well as your hot beverages, espressos and cappuccinos. <sighs> right, do you know what we got... <laughs> I love the show, but we never have enough time, do we? No. So we're going to do a very, very quick recap. Here, there and everywhere. Yes. Great prices. Give us a call. There so you go. We, done. 
do you want to start? Go on, you start. Go on. Uh, well, I tell you what, there's seven nights. This is with Paul Mansour. This is going around the uh, Canary. £75 per person per night. ID number 135996. Oh, well, that was quick. Uh, now, Azamara, I would love if you to try Azamara tonight. Um, they're, they're one of my absolute favourites. We're talking about boutique cruising. We're talking about everything being included, all your drinks and tips. You get some really special evenings, the As Amazing Evening, to see an ice show. Uh, you can add on uh, pre and post cruise stays in Barcelona and Rome on this one and return flights. That is a very good price for Asmara, though. It really is one of the yeah. best we've ever seen, actually. And uh, so if you'd like to book that, give us a call right now. If you want fantastic, phenomenal value, and the first time that Thompson, now known as Morella, is going to this part of the world, then you've got to do this. The Far East, um, for just over £2,000 there, um, just, just pick up the phone, dial the number, give us the ID number 160588. And was that one all-inclusive? That's all-inclusive, including was. overnight uh, in uh, Bangkok um, and Langkawi. Now, I, I'm, I'm really keen on trying a river cruise. I'm very tempted by this next one. It did sell out previously. We've got some new mm. dates tonight. And it is, of course, with Riviera Travel there, on board the beautiful MS Emily Bronte. 549, you get excursions at every port. There's no single supplement either. And uh, and it's uh, via the uh, Eurostar, of course, as well. So no flight. You can you book that up and take your mum? Well, do you know what? Her birthday is actually one of those dates, the 11th of December, so I might do. There you yeah. go. There you go. Deposit only tonight. Uh, what was next? Um, it was a quickie on Fred Onsen. Um, this is fantastic. If you fancy doing an overnight in Amsterdam and in Antwerp there as well, then uh, awesome chance to go away. ID number 141642. Uh, that's on the Balmorrow. Um, that's next year. That's 8th of December next year. And then the incredible anthem of the seas. Um, just... Looking at what you can do on the ship, I mean, outstanding actually. But look at where you're going to see. You get a two night stay in a four star hotel in Niagara Falls and in New York as well. That iconic Amtrak rail journey from Niagara to New York and the most amazing cruise seeing uh, Canada, New England there. And of course, uh, a price starting at just 1829. Yeah, final one with Celestial. This is uh, one of our favourites. This is a fantastic chance to go around the Greek islands with a Greek cruise line. And on top of that, we're looking at an overnight on board in Mykonos and in Santorini. This is all inclusive. That's ID number 159386. Oh, can I just say, you can check out everything on our website. If you haven't seen a cruise you like tonight, we can find you any cruise with any company and we can make your trip bespoke as well. Um, we're out of time. Justin, you're back next week. Yeah, all we can say is can you send in pictures of you in your Christmas jumpers? Because we're wearing ours next week. Are we? Yeah. Oh. Tune in next week. We'll be wearing Christmas jumpers. We'll look amazing. <laughs> See you soon.